Howdy, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. On today's gear review, I'm talking about a little bit of an unorthodox item that I just picked up. Um, I've talked a lot about kitchen gear. I've talked a lot about budget-minded gear. Uh, one of the things that I have always kind of struggled with is can openers. Uh, actually, I've got it in my pocket here. I'll show you what I currently use, and I use it for a number of reasons. I've got this military P51 folding uh, can opener. And basically what you do is you pop this little bad boy out there. That's the actual can opener. You lock this onto the edge of the can, and then you just go like this, and you work your way all the way around the can. So I've got a can here I'll show you. You basically put it like this so that the little tooth is in there, and then you use it like a lever, and you pry. And you work your way all the way around the can manually, which is a pain in the butt, right? Um, and that's what I've been using. The reason, a couple of reasons. One, it's always on my keychain. It's lightweight. It's tiny. Um, two, they're super, super inexpensive. I think I got like a 10 pack of these for like 10 bucks. Um, but that's where this thing comes in. So this is the Joseph Joseph, fancy name, I guess. Um, but it is basically like an all-in-one can top can opener. Um, the reason that I like this is it's way easier than this thing. Um, so that's why I'm going to check this thing out. I'm going to show you guys. I'm actually going to open a can with it. Um, I've already used it. It's really nice. It's really cool. Again, super small footprint, right? It's almost like a, the top of a water bottle is basically about the size of it. Maybe about an inch and a half tall, about two, two and a half inches across. And uh, it's circle, so that's the diameter. Um, so this thing is actually pretty handy. So I'm going to keep this in my drawer system. It should fit really nice because it's so small. You could also keep it in like a bag if you keep your stuff, your, your kitchen gear in like a bag or a backpack or something. Um, so it's really, really small, but way easier to work, way quicker to get on the can, way quicker to get off the can, way less effort. Um, so again, if you have a drawer system or some sort of like a camp kitchen where you keep your stuff, you won't forget that like I was worried about doing when I bought this thing. Um, but that gets this thing off my, my keychain also, so now I don't have to worry about catching my pockets, which has happened quite a few times where this sharp edge actually catches my pocket when I take it out and rips it. So there are some downsides to this thing. Um, also, for, from a cost standpoint, this was actually really affordable. I'll put a link down in the, in the description below to this thing so if you want to pick one up. Um, but again, it was like 10 bucks or less. I don't even remember what it was, but maybe seven or eight bucks, something like that. So it's still really inexpensive for how much more convenient it is and how much easier it is to use. Um, so just wanted to share this with you guys. So again, I'm going to show you this thing really quick in action. I'm going to take a quick video of me opening a can with it um, so that you can see how it works. And uh, yeah, then you can make a decision from there if you want to buy something like this, if it looks like a good deal for your camping kitchen setup. Um, basically what you do is you put it with the button side in facing the inside of the can and you can kind of see under there the little gear that's going to spin it. It kind of sits in there and seats naturally. You see that little sort of rounded area there. So basically when you set it on the can you'll feel it kind of lock in there and then all you have to do is start twisting. So you hold the white part, see how it's got these little finger things on the side and you spin the green thing on top and it just spins that can right around and hopefully it opens the can. And look at that. And it's even got a little magnet built into it, which is really cool, so it takes the lid right out for you. Look at how clean that opening is. So again, compared to the old way that I was doing it, this is wildly more superior. And then you push this button at the end to release the lid, and that's it. You're undone. All right, so that was everything on the Joseph Joseph can opener. Um, again, super easy to use. Really good price point, really inexpensive, small footprint, so it's easy to keep in a drawer system and a bag. However you store your, your camp kitchen, really small and easy to store. And again, way easier than, you know, the old school sort of military can opener that I've been using in the past. Um, so again, I hope that information was helpful for you. I hope that this is something that maybe can help you save some time at camp or make, you know, camping slash cooking at camp a little bit easier. Um, if you're not already, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. Click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do do a couple videos a week, at least, um, uh, kind of like a vlog slash podcast every week around Sunday, and then a gear review or like a trip video or something like that middle of the week each week. So if you're looking for Xterra content, overlanding stuff, camping, you know, gear reviews, anything like that, I would love to have you as a subscriber. So I hope you click that button. Also, there'll be links in the description below to Facebook, Instagram, the podcast, as I mentioned, um, all those are down there too. So wherever you want to hang out, or if you want to join the conversation, I'd love to have you. Um, and then last but not least, there are links to the store with the merchandise in it. Um, I do sell a bunch of patches and stickers and things like that. So definitely check that out as well. Um, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.